All right, guys, so we now have our Laravel project set up on our local machine. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to start to get into routes and also uh, controllers. OK, so we want to have a pages controller so we can create pages like about services, our, our home page, things like that. So if we open up routes and go into web.php, I already kind of explained this. We have route and then the, the type of request we want to handle the URL and then a function. And in here we can we can pretty much do anything we want. Um, for instance, if I were to just say return hello world and save that. And if we go to our application and we reload, you'll see we get hello world. And the reason we're seeing it on the home page is because we have a slash here. If we were to go to, let's say, hello, Actually, you know what? Let's copy this and we'll put the index back and then just paste that in. And then if we go and we say our app slash hello, you'll see we get hello world. All right. So routes are very easy to work with. Now, if you were submitting a route, let's say I'm submitting a form to a route that would be a post request, most likely. So you do route dot post. You can also do route dot delete and so on. So it's pretty easy to create a restful API with Laravel. Okay, we could also actually throw in some HTML here if you wanted. All right, if we go and reload, you'll see that it'll actually parse the HTML. Now, as far as our views, let's go into resources views and you should you should probably separate your views into folders. So for instance, we're going to have uh, some views that are going to belong to the pages controller. So we should also create a folder called pages inside the views. So let's say pages and let's say we want to create a file in here called about dot blade dot PHP. OK, and in here we'll just say about save it and then let's go back to our route file and let's go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll just comment this out, I guess. I want to try to keep most of the code that I write just so you guys have it as a reference. So let's do route and say we want to handle a get request to slash about put a function and let's go ahead and say return view. Now we have our, our uh, about template inside of a pages folder. So what we can do is we can say pages dot about OK, so let's save that and then go to slash about. And you can see it's loading our about template. All right. So I like I like the dot syntax rather than doing like pages slash about. I think it's nice and clean looking. Now, before we get into controls, I just want to show you how we can add a dynamic route. So I'll just copy this. And then let's say we have we want to handle a get request to, I don't know, users and we want a specific we want to put in a specific ID into the URL. So what we would do is say slash and then put some curly braces and ID. OK, and then we would pass in a variable here that's going to represent that. So we'll say ID and then let's return. Uh, we'll say return ID or we'll say this is user and then we'll just concatenate the ID. So we'll save it and let's go back to our application and we'll go to users slash uh, Brad. And it says this is the user Brad. So it'll grab whatever we put here. Most of the time your IDs will probably be numbers and then you'll you'll um, query the database based on that. But just know that that's how you can insert dynamic values or, or parameters into uh, into the URL. So if we wanted to put another one here, we'll say slash name and then we could just pass that here. We'll say this is user name and then we'll concatenate back and we'll say with a, uh, with an ID of ID. All right. So now if we go back and we say users slash what did I do the ID first? Yeah. 
Uh, so we'll say users slash two slash Brad. The user is Brad with an ID of two. So you can pass more than one dynamic value into uh, into the URL if you want. And I know none of this has to do with the application we're creating right now, but I just want to kind of, um, you know, explain a couple things that aren't actually in this application as well. So let's see, we want to actually keep the about route. But for this, I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to stick that up here in the comment. Okay, and then you usually don't well, you pretty much never want to return a view from your route. Uh, what you would want to do is create a controller and then set the route to go to, to a certain controller function and then return the view. So let's go ahead and create a controller. I'm going to open up our integrated uh, terminal here. And we're going to use Artisan. Okay, so this is the first time we're going to use Artisan. So we're going to open up our command line, our terminal. So we'll go to integrated terminal. You can also do control backspace. That'll also open it up. Uh, and then we're going to do PHP Artisan and then the command that we want. So we want to use the make command and we want to specify that we want to make a controller. Okay, and then we want to name it. So we're going to call it pages controller and you want to use this format this camel uh, is this cam no this is a uh, Pascal case so capital and then every other word will begin with a capital okay and I like to make my controllers uh, plural so I do pages controller instead of page controller uh, but let's go ahead and run that and it says controller created successfully all right so let's get out of that and then if we go and we look in app HTTP controllers uh, let's see, we might have to refresh this. Yeah, now you'll see we have a pages controller. It created the file for us. It also added the namespace, which is going to be app HTTP controllers. It brings in the request library so that we can handle requests. And it creates a controller called pages controller and then extends the core, the, the, uh, the standard controller. Okay, any controller you create should extend this. Or you won't be able to do very much. So let's create a function in here, also called a method. When you have a function inside of a class, it's, it's also called a method. So we're going to say public function, public meaning that we can access it from outside of the class. All right, so public function index. And let's go ahead and say, let's just do return index for now. And we'll save that. So let's go back to our routes file, and let's go up to where we have this this uh, get get request to the home page. I'm just going to copy that and put it down here. So what we want to do instead of just having a closure, instead of just having this function here, we're going to replace that, and what we're going to put is the the controller and the method that we want. Okay, and that's going to go in in quotes. OK, so we know it's the pages controller that we want, and then we want to do the at symbol and then the function name, which is going to be index. So let's save that and let's go back and let's go to our home page and we get index. So we know that it's connected to that controller's method. All right. Now, what we want to do is we want to load a view. So let's say return. Sorry about that. We'll say return view and let's say pages dot index. So it's going to look in the views folder in, in a pages folder for an index dot blade dot PHP. So let's go ahead and create that. Now I want an HTML structure in here. So what I'll do is go to welcome dot blade and let's just copy everything and go and paste that in our index. And then I'm just going to get rid of everything in the body and all of this this whole style tag here okay get rid of the fonts all right now for the title here i actually want to put the application name uh, so if we go to dot env this holds our database parameters but it also holds the app name you, know, you can see by default it's laravel uh, i'm actually going to change this to ls app and save and then what we can do in here 
is we can put our double curly braces and we're going to say config and we want to use app.name and if that's not there then we want to use ls app okay um, so let's save that and I just want to see if that works all right so you, up here you can see now we have ls app if we look at the, the source code it has all of our HTML so for now let's just put an h1 and we'll just say welcome to Laravel okay and then we'll put a paragraph underneath it I'm just gonna say this is the Laravel application from the Laravel from scratch YouTube series okay save that to make sure it shows up good so let's now go to the about we're gonna copy everything that's in index and then go to our about paste that in and we'll just change the h1 to about and then change the paragraph to we'll just say this is the about page all right so now we should be able to go to slash about good now in any type of programming or web development you, you don't want to repeat yourself and if we look at index and about we're repeating ourselves quite a bit the only thing that we're changing is this h1 in the paragraph so what we will what we're going to have to do is create a layout that has all this stuff in it and then we can extend it okay uh, i'm not going to do that just yet though we're going to get into that in blade in the next video um, but one one more thing I want to do is create uh, a services page. So let's go to our pages controller. Oh, we didn't link the about yet either. So let's just say public function about. And we're going to return the view and it's going to be pages dot about. All right. And we're also going to have a services page. So let's put that in here as well services. so we'll save and we'll go ahead and create the services layout or template view whatever the hell you want to call it services.blade.php and let's just copy this and let's change the h1 to services and for now we'll just say this is the services page all right, and let's go back to our routes file, web.php. And right now we're just loading the view directly for about, but we don't want that. What we want to do is say slash about, and we want to go to pages controller at about. And then we'll do the same thing for services. All right, so now if we go back to our app, about should still work. And if we go to services, that works if we go to just our application route that works so in the next video we're going to look more into blade templating and creating a layout i'm also going to show you how we can pass dynamic data into our into our blade views all right so please subscribe if you're not please leave a like and i will see you in the next video